Matt Standridge is in for Betsy tonight. Matt, a wet day. You said we have not seen any sun yet in 2021, but we have a while to go, right? <laughs> We do. We got 365 days left to go to try to uh, figure all that out right. But we may try to squeeze in some sun, Laura, over the next several days. We're going to look at the seven-day forecast. We'll try to pinpoint when the best chances of those days will be. In fact, one of those days may even be tomorrow evening, at least a little bit. But we're kind of on a cloudy pattern through this weekend. We've had several showers throughout the day, and a lot of times they were on the icy side. In fact, I want to show you what it looked like in downtown a little bit earlier this morning when we had that freezing rain. You can see as you're looking through the tunnels there, they had two tunnels there on the public square, and those Christmas bulbs have a little bit of ice on them. And then you're looking north towards the Old Stone Church. When you get a little bit closer to the Old Stone Church, that railing that's right there on the east side of the building, you also had a little bit of uh, accumulation. Most places got some accumulation on the elevated cold surfaces, so uh, signs, street lamps, things like that. Most of the roads were okay. We had some slick spots, though, a little bit further south of Cleveland towards Akron and Canton, and then west towards Worcester and Mansfield. But overall, since this afternoon, things have been on the warmer side. So if you had any frozen precipitation, that's pretty much over with. We're in the warm side of this whole storm system. Low pressure centered just towards our west and our neighbors in north central Indiana. This thing continues to track towards the north and east, so we just had a warm front pass on through. So now we're going to stay in those mid-30s for a while. But what's interesting is right where the low pressure is, there's a lot of mist and drizzle. You see where that's headed. It's headed right towards northeast Ohio. So some of the heavier bands of rain have pretty much moved on out over a Lake Erie and then towards southwestern New York. We just got to deal with drizzle for the next several hours. We'll probably be waking up with some of that as well. But closer to home, we don't have much going on right now other than drizzle. Now this is a loop just over the past six hours. You can see the colors on there. We had a mess earlier this morning into the early afternoon, but thank goodness temperatures warmed up above freezing. A lot of us are sitting in those mid-30s. It's 35 in Worcester. A good afternoon in Mansfield, 35, 34 right now, holding most of Cuyahoga County. Over the next several hours, we'll probably stay in those 30s. Don't watch temperatures drop too much. That warm front actually just came on through. It's not that warm, but it's technically a warm front keeping us in those 30s overnight, really not dropping. Tomorrow, we'll probably return to the upper 30s by the later afternoon hours. This morning or going into the morning hours tomorrow, there could be still some lingering drizzle, maybe a raindrop here or there. And then by the afternoon, I think we'll start to dry out, maybe even a few peaks of sun, especially towards the south and west. Temperatures tomorrow somewhere in the upper 30s and low 40s for most of us. So at least we'll be above the freezing mark. So any of that drizzle that is out there should stay just as liquid. Here's your National Zymar Hour by Hour forecast because I want to show you snow chances later this weekend. Here's your hour by hour going into tomorrow. This is right towards lunchtime, 12 p.m. Most of the rain starts to leave. We should be a lot drier throughout the rest of the afternoon on your Saturday. But by the time you're waking up on Sunday morning, our next winter system will move on through. This is not a big winter storm, but we'll have a mix of snow and rain showers throughout most of your Sunday. It'll be pretty much on and off all day as temperatures stay right in those mid 30s, making the forecast kind of tricky. Whenever you just have mid 30s hugging across Northeast Ohio, you get a mess. And we had a mess this morning. I think this one will be just a little bit colder, Laura. So there'll be a higher chance for snow rather than freezing drizzle. I think a lot of folks uh, would rather take snow over that frozen precipitation. Your Union Home Mortgage 7-Day Outlook shows that over the next several days, I think we're just going to stay in the 30s. Our temperatures are not going to waver all that much. Laura, other than on Sunday with some of those rain and snow showers, I think next week looks fairly calm. There could be a few snow showers here and there, a few peaks of sun here and there, but the first full week of 2021 is looking pretty quiet.